What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. We have David here back with us and today we are doing a, another video of testing DIY gym equipment and today we're doing uh, plyo boxes which I'm really excited about because I really want to add this to kind of our gym equipment. Uh, I think they're really great just for everything. Good for step ups, jump ups, whatever. The explosive movements, really good for. Um, so I'm really happy to add this to our kind of gym equipment. Yep. So David's gonna take mostly the lead and I also just want to say that of course all our resources are linked down below. We are taking our measurements from Chrissy Aramo's video. She did one recently as well. The only difference between our video and her video is that ours we are going to be cutting our pieces. She had her pieces already pre-cut and so we are going to cut our pieces mm -hmm. ourselves. Uh, we already got our sheet of plywood from Rona, which is similar to it's Lowe's. It's Lowe's. Yeah, so we got that and we have pretty much all our screws and all the stuff mm -hmm. that we need. And we're gonna go build it, which is exciting. Yeah. So let's get into it and let's go build our plyo box. Mm -hmm. Dave's got his little safety goggles on. Yeah, so step number one, make sure to have your safety goggles when you're cutting wood, because you don't want any splinters in your eyeball. You don't wanna look like a pirate. Mm -hmm. The actual step one is we're actually gonna write down all our measurements on the piece of plywood just to make sure everything fits properly and just to kind of see what we need to cut. Okay, so right now we are actually, we're doing the lines, we're marking out our lines. So we're marking out the 28 and a half by 18 and a half lines. A little trick is to, when you have the lines done, put a little arrow and write the, the line down. So like, let's say we have our 18 and a half line. So from here to there is 18 and a half. So we put a little mark saying that's our measurement. All right, so we just ran into a little bit of a complication. Um, it really, really matters how you position your measurements on the plywood because you're only technically needing one piece of plywood. And when we put out the measurements, we were off because we needed still that one piece that goes in the middle. Um, so it really does matter how you position your measurements. So I'm gonna show you guys in a second how to position your measurements because we are positioning all our measurements lengthwise instead of doing like too length and too wide, I, I, I'll show you guys. There's a lot of lines on here and a lot of lines that we aren't using. So as you guys can see, there's a little bit some that are scribbled out. So what we originally did is we were doing them all lengthwise this way. So we did it like this, like this, like this. And then we had some dead space right in the middle as you can see. But we were missing the middle piece that we have to put in the box because this dead space wasn't being used, it had to be flipped. So what we did is we kept this lengthwise and this was the 18 by 28.5 and then here, our piece, we decided to put it this way. So it is the 18.5 by 24 and then we have over here lengthwise again 30 by 24 and then here we have on the inside is the middle piece which is 18.5 by 22.5 so it went lengthwise this way this way this way so that's how you have to take it so you have no dead space you do get a little bit of dead space and you are like you have you're a little bit of an inch a half an inch off here but other than that the measurements are good we double checked our measurements just make sure that when you're measuring it out you do it this way this way this way this way for the longer sides. I hope that makes sense. Now that all the measurements are done, David, what now are we doing? We can start cutting. Let's cut these bad boys. Don't forget, friends, safety first. I'm looking real good right now. <laughs> Since the piece is really big and we have a table saw, I'm gonna actually help David hold the piece through, so this is my turn to help. So now we're going to fasten all our pieces together with our with our deck screws. So I got eight by two, so it's about two inches long and eight millimeters like thick. We need to also pre-drill our holes with a, a little one-eighth 
kind of uh, drill so that the wood doesn't split as we drill the screws in. So the reason why this piece is 18.5 is because we have three quarters of an inch of plywood. So you use two pieces of plywood, it makes an inch and a half. So that's why this here is gonna be 20 at the end of this, because we're gonna add another three quarters of an inch and it should be good. Cool. We'll be at 20 inches. Yeah. All right, so we have, what size do we have, David? 28 and a half by 18 and a half. So we have our last two pieces, they're 28 by 18, and we're gonna put them on. So what they're going to do is they're gonna be inserted in, they're not gonna lie on top, they go inside. So we have to manipulate it just a little bit. We might have to loosen a couple screws to make it fit and then screw it all in together. Oh my god, we almost have a full box, guys. This is exciting. All right, so now we gotta put the middle part in. Like. All right, so we put the middle piece in, so we have to screw that in, right? Yeah, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure to make sure it's completely, like, even on both sides so that we can actually drill the pieces properly. Last piece. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. It's like butter. Go Dave, go. Feet are soaking. Aww. The box is officially done. Oh, it looks so good. I'm proud of us. It looks pretty good. So now what we're gonna do, the final step, is we're gonna sand it down. Just sand the edges around here. Just so if we miss it, if we miss a box jump, we don't completely... Rip off our whole... Our whole so shin. Our whole shin is still intact, not... It's kind of, kind of. It's It'll rip it, but not as bad, right? Yeah. Alright guys, the box is all sanded down, nice and smooth actually. Ooh, it's really smooth. Real smooth. One thing we will probably add later on is some holes so we can pick it up easier because it's really hard to pick it up without any like handles or anything. But we have something at home to put holes in it. But now we need to put it to the ultimate test to see if this is safe to jump on. Alright guys, it is the next day and the box is out and we are going to test it now. We're going to jump on it, we're going to do it in a workout, we're going to see how it goes and all that jazz. So. Let's put it to the test. We're gonna have our test subject doing the first jump. We're putting it on 20 inches. Yeah. So, by all means, take it away, Dave. Ooh, solid. Yeah. Oh yeah. Solid, eh? Now. Put it up one. Put it up to your normal height. So, all right, so now we've put it up, so we're gonna see if it works on David's height. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, right now it's, as you guys can see, it is like moving a bit, but there's also rocks on here. Uh, and it's not super even yeah. on this ground, but other than that, it's super solid. I'm so happy. All right, we're testing the 30 side. Ooh, solid. Oh yeah. Super solid. One more jump. Yeah. 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 Oh my god, it is solid. I'm so surprised. It feels super solid. It's a lot. It's more solid than the one at the gym. Yeah. You happy? Yeah, I am actually really happy. Um, I jump very heavily. I try and jump as light as I can, but I do sometimes jump pretty heavy, and I don't feel insecure on this thing. This thing feels super solid. Like, 
It feels really good. I'm so surprised. I wasn't sure if it was gonna feel that solid, mm. but it's really solid. I'm really happy. Yeah. Let's try with the dumbbell. Oh yeah. I'm really happy. I think that this is great. All right, so we're gonna do a little workout and give you our final thoughts after. All right guys, so I figured we'd give our final thoughts on this little DIY project. Personally for me, I think that it turned out really great. I was not sure because we were cutting our own pieces. I wasn't sure if they were gonna come out straight, super crooked, if we were gonna mess up the measurements and everything like that. And I would say it's not too bad. Like it turned out good for us, which I'm really happy about. Mm -hmm. I would say, Quality wise, on a scale of 1 to 10 is like a 10. It turned out really good. The quality was really good. But I would say on like the easiness factor, it is not like really high. I would say like easiness maybe is around a 5 when you are cutting your own pieces. Like it took us probably like an hour to two hours just to cut the pieces and measure the pieces out and make sure everything was okay. Mm -hmm. um, but if you can get the pieces pre-cut, well then that makes it like 10 times easier and it turns out to be like a like a 9 on 10. Once you cut it, it's really easy to do. So if you're cutting it yourself, it does take a bit longer and it's a little more complicated. But if you have the pieces cut, then it's like 10 times easier. Um, do you have anything that you want to share? Anything that you think? Mm -hmm. You think it's good? Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, it, was, it came out pretty easy and I'm really happy with yeah. it. Really happy. It's, it's pretty stable super stable which i really was not sure if it was mm -hmm. going to be stable or not also we're going to end up adding in some handles just because then it's easier to kind of mm -hmm. carry so we're going to just kind of take a jigsaw and like make a hole in the side so we can like stick our hands in and pick it up um it'll just be easier for us but we used it in a workout today and it went really good mm -hmm. and i'm really happy about it so yeah anyways if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up and if you want us to try and diy some gym equipment let us know down below what you want to see diy and yeah thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button down below don't forget to be unstoppable and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye summer days burn me out love just brings me down go inside like when she leaves i slowly leave the ground Hey, you come back, I wanna give you a chance Love me like you used to, so we can learn again The skin is getting round, baby, drink tonight